In the tumultuous seas of existence, where every wave threatens to engulf us in despair, there exists a beacon of ancient wisdom, a philosophy that transcends time and resonates with the very essence of our souls. Stoicism, born in the crucible of ancient Greece and nurtured through the ages by the likes of Seneca, Epictetus, and Marcus Aurelius, offers us a guiding light amidst the darkness. In this journey through the annals of Stoic thought, we shall uncover ten modern lessons, each a testament to the enduring power of inner strength, resilience, and self-mastery. Let us embark together, dear friends, on a voyage of self-discovery and transformation. Lesson 1, Embrace the Present Moment. In the words of Marcus Aurelius, dwell on the beauty of life. Watch the stars, and see yourself running with them. Stoicism teaches us to embrace the present moment, to accept it with all its joys and sorrows, its triumphs and tribulations. We are but fleeting beings, transient as the morning dew, and yet within this fleeting moment lies the essence of eternity. In a world consumed by distractions and desires, we must learn to anchor ourselves in the here and now. For it is only by fully immersing ourselves in the present that we can discover true peace and contentment. Let us cast aside the shackles of regret and anxiety, and instead, let us embrace the infinite possibilities that each moment holds. Lesson 2, A Cultivate Inner Strength. Difficulties strengthen the mind, as labor does the body, proclaimed Seneca. Stoicism teaches us that adversity is not to be feared but embraced, for it is through adversity that we grow and evolve. Like the mighty oak tree, whose roots run deep and firm, we must cultivate inner strength to weather the storms of life. In the face of adversity, let us stand tall and unwavering, for it is in our darkest moments that our true strength is revealed. Let us not shrink from challenges, but rather, let us confront them head-on, knowing that each obstacle is but a stepping stone on the path to greatness. Lesson 3, A Practice Self-Mastery. To be free is not to be able to do anything you like, it is to be able to resist doing what you do not like, declared Epictetus. Stoicism teaches us that true freedom lies not in the absence of constraints but in the mastery of our own desires and impulses. We are the captains of our souls, the masters of our fate, and it is through self-mastery that we attain true autonomy. In a world dominated by instant gratification and hedonistic pleasures, let us strive for self-discipline and self-control. Let us temper our desires with reason, and let us cultivate the virtue of moderation in all things. For it is only by mastering ourselves that we can truly be free. Lesson 4, Accept the Impermanence of Life. The universe is change, our life is what our thoughts make it, wrote Marcus Aurelius. Stoicism teaches us to embrace the impermanence of life, to recognize that all things must pass, and that nothing in this world is permanent. Like the sands of the desert, we are but grains in the hourglass of time, fleeting and ephemeral. In the face of loss and suffering, let us find solace in the knowledge that change is the only constant in life. Let us not cling to the past or fear the future, but rather, let us live fully in the present moment, knowing that each breath we take is a gift. Let us embrace the transient nature of existence, and let us find beauty in its fleeting moments. Lesson 5, A Practice Gratitude and Resilience. Be grateful for what you have, and stop complaining, it bores everybody else, does you no good, and doesn't solve any problems, admonished Seneca. Stoicism teaches us to cultivate gratitude and resilience in the face of adversity, to find joy in the simple pleasures of life, and to draw strength from our inner reserves. In a world consumed by entitlement and discontent, let us practice gratitude for the blessings that surround us. Let us not dwell on what we lack, but rather, let us focus on what we have, knowing that true wealth lies not in material possessions but in the richness of the human spirit. And let us cultivate resilience in the face of adversity, knowing that every setback is but a test of our inner strength. Lesson 6, A Live in Accordance with Nature. Nature has given us rational minds, and it is our duty to use them, wrote Epictetus. Stoicism teaches us to live in accordance with nature, to align our thoughts and actions with the natural order of the universe. We are not separate from nature but a part of it, subject to its laws and rhythms. 
In a world marked by greed and exploitation, let us strive to live in harmony with the world around us. Let us cultivate a deep reverence for the natural world, recognizing its inherent beauty and wisdom. Let us tread lightly upon the earth, leaving behind only footprints of kindness and compassion. Lesson 7, a focus on what is within your control. Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants, observed Epictetus. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what is within our control, to let go of the things we cannot change and to focus instead on our own thoughts and actions. In a world marked by uncertainty and chaos, let us focus on cultivating inner peace and tranquility. Let us not be consumed by worry and anxiety over things beyond our control, but rather, let us channel our energy into those things that we can influence. Let us strive to be the masters of our own destiny, knowing that true power lies not in external circumstances but in our own minds. Lesson 8, A Practice the Virtue of Courage. Cowards die many times before their deaths, and the valiant never taste of death but once, wrote Shakespeare, echoing the sentiments of the Stoics. Stoicism teaches us to cultivate the virtue of courage, to face our fears with steadfast resolve and to confront adversity with unyielding determination. In a world marked by uncertainty and danger, let us be brave in the face of adversity. Let us not shrink from challenges or retreat into the safety of complacency, but rather, let us embrace the unknown with courage and conviction. Let us be like the lion, fearless in the face of danger, knowing that true strength lies not in the absence of fear, but in the mastery of it. Lesson 9, A Practice the Art of Detachment. Freedom is the only worthy goal in life. It is won by disregarding things that lie beyond our control, declared Epictetus. Stoicism teaches us to practice the art of detachment, to let go of our attachments to material possessions and worldly desires. In a world driven by consumerism and excess, let us cultivate a spirit of detachment. Let us not be enslaved by our possessions or defined by our wealth, but rather, let us find freedom in simplicity and contentment. Let us focus on the things that truly matter, love, friendship, and inner peace, and let us release our grip on the things that weigh us down. In the vast ocean of existence, where tumultuous waves of emotion and adversity threaten to capsize our ships, Stoicism serves as our guiding North Star, illuminating the path to inner tranquility and resilience. Rooted in the wisdom of ancient philosophers like Seneca, Stoicism remains as relevant today as it was in antiquity, offering timeless lessons to navigate the complexities of modern life. Let us embark on a journey together, delving into the depths of Stoic principles translated into actionable steps for those seeking solace and strength in the turbulent waters of 2024. Lesson 1, Embrace the Power of Choice. In the tapestry of life, woven with threads of circumstance and fate, lies the one immutable truth, the power of choice. Seneca, the revered Stoic sage, reminds us that while we may not control external events, we possess the sovereign ability to choose our response. In the words of Viktor Frankl, a modern beacon of resilience, between stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space lies our freedom and power to choose our response. Embrace this freedom, dear seeker, and wield it as your most potent weapon against the vicissitudes of life. Lesson 2, A Cultivate Inner Equanimity. In the chaos of modernity, where the cacophony of distractions threatens to drown out our inner voice, cultivating inner equanimity becomes paramount. Stoicism teaches us to anchor ourselves in the tranquility of the present moment, to weather the storms with grace and composure. As Marcus Aurelius, the philosopher emperor, wrote, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Practice mindfulness, dear traveler, and let the serenity of the present moment be your sanctuary amidst the tumult. Lesson 3, Embrace Adversity as a Teacher. In the crucible of adversity lies the alchemy of transformation. Seneca, who faced exile and persecution with unwavering fortitude, understood that adversity is not a foe to be vanquished but a teacher to be embraced. In every setback, in every hardship, lies an opportunity for growth and resilience. As Ryan Holiday, a modern-day Stoic, eloquently puts it, the obstacle is the way. 
Embrace adversity as your most formidable ally on the path to self-mastery, and emerge from the crucible stronger and wiser than before. Lesson 4, A Practice the Art of Detachment. In a world that prizes material wealth and external validation, the Stoic sage teaches us the art of detachment, the liberation of the soul from the shackles of desire. Seneca reminds us that true freedom lies not in the accumulation of wealth or status, but in the mastery of our desires. As Epictetus, the Stoic slave-turned-philosopher, wrote, freedom is the only worthy goal in life. It is won by disregarding things that lie beyond our control. Practice the art of detachment, dear seeker, and reclaim your sovereignty from the tyranny of external possessions. Lesson 5, A Cultivate Virtue as Your North Star. In a world fraught with moral ambiguity and ethical dilemmas, virtue stands as our guiding North Star, illuminating the path to a life of meaning and purpose. Seneca, echoing the teachings of his Stoic predecessors, extols the virtues of wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance as the pillars of a virtuous life. As Aristotle, the ancient philosopher, wrote, virtue is the mean between two vices, the one of excess and the other of deficiency. Cultivate virtue, dear traveler, and let it be your compass in navigating the moral labyrinth of existence. Lesson 6, Embrace Impermanence and Embrace Imperfection. In a world obsessed with perfection and permanence, Stoicism offers a radical paradigm shift, an invitation to embrace impermanence and imperfection as fundamental truths of existence. Seneca, in his timeless wisdom, reminds us that everything in life is transient, ephemeral, and subject to the whims of fate. As the Japanese concept of Wabisabi teaches us, there is beauty in imperfection, in the impermanent and imperfect nature of existence. Embrace impermanence, dear seeker, and find solace in the fleeting beauty of the present moment. Lesson 7, A Practice Gratitude in All Things. In the hustle and bustle of modern life, it is all too easy to overlook the blessings that surround us, to take the gifts of existence for granted. Stoicism teaches us the transformative power of gratitude, the practice of acknowledging and appreciating the abundance that permeates our lives. Seneca, in his profound wisdom, reminds us that wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. Cultivate gratitude, dear traveler, and let it be the antidote to the poison of discontent. Lesson 8, a live in alignment with nature. In a world estranged from the rhythms of nature, Stoicism invites us to re-establish our connection with the natural world, to live in harmony with the cosmic order. Seneca, drawing inspiration from the teachings of the ancient Stoics, extols the virtues of living in accordance with nature's laws, of embracing our inherent role as rational beings in a universe governed by reason. As Ralph Waldo Emerson, the American transcendentalist, wrote, Adopt the pace of nature, a her secret is patience. Live in alignment with nature, dear seeker, and find refuge in the timeless wisdom of the cosmos. Lesson 9, A Face Death with Stoic Serenity. In the shadow of mortality, where the specter of death looms large, Stoicism offers us the gift of perspective, the wisdom to confront our mortality with Stoic serenity. Seneca, who faced death with unwavering equanimity, reminds us that death is not to be feared but embraced as an inevitable part of the human experience. As the Stoic philosopher Lucretius wrote, death is nothing to us, since when we are, death has not come, and when death has come, we are not. Face death with Stoic serenity, dear traveler, and let it imbue your life with a sense of urgency and purpose. Lesson 10, A Cultivate Inner Tranquility Through Self-Mastery. In the crucible of self-mastery lies the key to inner tranquility, the liberation of the soul from the shackles of passion and desire. Seneca, who devoted his life to the pursuit of wisdom and virtue, understood that true freedom lies in mastering oneself. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus wrote, no man is free who is not master of himself. Cultivate self-mastery, dear seeker, and let it be the cornerstone of your journey to inner peace and serenity. In the labyrinth of existence, where the currents of fate and fortune ebb and flow, Stoicism serves as our guiding light, a beacon of wisdom and resilience in the darkest of nights.
as we navigate the complexities of modern life, let us heed the timeless lessons of Seneca and embrace the power of choice, cultivate inner equanimity, and embrace adversity as a teacher. Let us practice the art of detachment, cultivate virtue as our north star, and embrace impermanence and imperfection as fundamental truths of existence. Let us practice gratitude in all things, live in alignment with nature, and face death with stoic serenity. And above all, let us cultivate inner tranquility through self-mastery, for in the crucible of self-mastery lies the key to lasting peace and serenity. In the words of Seneca himself, life is long, if you know how to use it. May we use our lives wisely, dear seekers, and may the wisdom of Stoicism guide us on our journey to self-discovery and inner fulfillment. As we embark on this journey together, may we remember that the true essence of Stoicism lies not merely in the words of the ancient philosophers, but in the lived experience of those who embody its principles in their daily lives. Let us strive to be stewards of virtue, beacons of resilience, and pillars of inner strength in a world that so desperately needs them. For in the end, it is not the trials we face or the hardships we endure that define us, but rather the way in which we respond to them, with courage, with wisdom, and with grace. And it is in the pursuit of this noble ideal that we find true fulfillment and meaning in life. So let us embrace the wisdom of Stoicism, dear travelers, and let it be our guiding light in the darkness, a source of strength, solace, and inspiration for all who seek it. For in the words of Seneca, we are more often frightened than hurt, and we suffer more from imagination than from reality. May we face our fears with courage, our challenges with resilience, and our lives with purpose. In the immortal words of the Stoic sage Epictetus, he is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. May we all be wise in our own way, dear seekers, and may the wisdom of Stoicism illuminate our path to inner peace and fulfillment. As we bring this journey to a close, let us carry the lessons of Stoicism in our hearts and minds, and let us strive to embody its timeless principles in our daily lives. For in doing so, we honor not only the legacy of the ancient philosophers, but also the inherent dignity and resilience of the human spirit. And so, dear friends, let us embrace the wisdom of Stoicism and let it be our guiding light in the darkness, a beacon of hope, courage, and resilience in a world that so desperately needs it. For in the end, it is not the trials we face or the hardships we endure that define us, but rather the way in which we respond to them, with courage, with wisdom, and with grace. May we all find solace and strength in the teachings of Seneca and the ancient Stoics, and may we strive to live lives of virtue, purpose, and inner peace. For in the words of Seneca himself, life is long, if you know how to use it. So let us use our lives wisely, dear friends, and let us make the most of the precious gift of existence. And so, as we embark on the next chapter of our journey, let us remember the timeless wisdom of Stoicism, and let us strive to live each day with purpose, integrity, and inner tranquility. For in the end, it is not the storms we weather or the obstacles we overcome that define us, but the strength of character we cultivate and the legacy of virtue we leave behind. May the wisdom of Stoicism guide us on our journey to self-discovery and inner fulfillment, and may we find solace and strength in its timeless principles. For in the end, it is not the trials we face or the hardships we endure that define us, but the way in which we respond to them, with courage, with wisdom, and with grace. Dear friends, may the journey ahead be filled with purpose, meaning, and fulfillment, and may the wisdom of Stoicism be our constant companion along the way. And may we, in the end, find solace and strength in the timeless truths of the human spirit, and may our lives be a testament to the power of virtue, resilience, and inner peace. And to all of you who found value and inspiration in this message, don't forget to show your support by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. By doing so, you'll stay updated with more insightful content aimed at helping you navigate life's challenges with resilience and inner peace. Thank you for being a part of our community, and we look forward to continuing this journey together. Like, subscribe, and let's keep growing together!